I want to talk about the importance of keeping an open mind when conducting scientific research. When I was a kid, I wanted to know why the Earth is the only planet with life in our solar system. But before we can understand that, we first have to figure out how the Earth formed to begin with. I would love to go back in time and watch the Earth form, but that's just not possible. The only thing I can do is look for planets that are still forming around other stars, stars that are much younger than our sun. When I decided I wanted to become an astronomer in 2011, these planets were too small and too far away for us to be able to see. And unfortunately, that's still true today. However, in the last five years, it's now finally possible for telescopes to take detailed pictures of the giant planet-forming disks around young stars. Some of these disks have unusual crescent-shaped features that other astronomers have claimed is because there is a planet forming in the disk. Three people, my advisor, a postdoc, and I, decided to study where the planets in these disks would end up after they formed, but we ran into a problem. We were checking to see if our simulations made sense when we realized they weren't actually that realistic. We decided to run simulations that were more realistic and discovered that disks with planets in them wouldn't have crescent shapes this compact. Instead, they would be much more spread out. We submitted our results and a few months later, someone came to me and my advisors and told us they had discovered a new image of a disk that looked just like the ones from our simulation. So, we helped this person find evidence that there was a planet forming in the disk that they were studying, even though we started out working on a project that was totally different. This isn't the end of the story. We want to do more than just find evidence of planets forming in disks. We want to use these planets to learn more about how they formed and what happens next, things I was trying to study in my original project. There are a lot of unsolved problems. It's okay if we don't know the answers to all of them, or even which direction to take. Following a logical scientific method will guide us to learn more about other planets, the Earth, and the world that we live in. Thank you.